Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas. Uh, in this week's video on uh, Tech Tuesday with Tim, I want to talk a little bit about your for the uh, remote start and something a lot of people don't realize that they have possibly on their vehicle right now, and that is the ability to connect their vehicle through the phone, through the Ford Pass app, and be able to remote start their vehicle. So a lot of people don't realize this. Within the Ford Pass app, you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can even schedule remote start times. I have a 2020 F-150 here that has the same capabilities, and they've been putting it on vehicles since about 2018. So your vehicle, even if you have an older one, may have this capability abilities already and I'm going to show you how to be able to look in there and find whether or not you can do that and then uh, we're going to talk a little bit about making sure that you're connected the phone to the Ford Pass app and how you can do that so uh, we're going to get into all this in this week's Tech Tuesday with Tim. So we've uh, jumped inside of my 2020 F-150, which does have uh, the uh, ability to be able to control the vehicle through the app, uh, through the Ford Pass app. So just briefly, I won't go into real detail about the Ford Pass app. I'll probably make that a future video. Uh, but if you have a vehicle that allows you to connect to the Ford Pass app, connect your vehicle in uh, and uh, see if you have the remote start settings and being able to do that. So even if your vehicle doesn't have the embedded modem, you'll be able to see that on here. So you'll be able to know whether or not you have these features and whether your vehicle can do this. And they started uh, introducing this in 2018, I believe, into a lot of the Ford vehicles. And in 19, they made it to where it was standard equipment on a lot of vehicles. And even for 2020, I think, on the F-150, even on the XL trim, I believe this is standard equipment on all of them. And then in 21, it's rolling through those. So you want to look for the Ford Pass app, download the app, create your account if you don't, haven't created one yet. And then you want to connect your vehicle. You want to add a vehicle uh, by you scanning the door code down there. And then you can go ahead and uh, be able to remote start the vehicle. Once you do that, you'll have to come in here, confirm it in the vehicle. Uh, so that way that you're not actually taking somebody else's VIN number putting it in there and being able to control their vehicle, you actually have to confirm it inside the vehicle so that way you know it's safe and that people can't uh, be able to, to control your vehicle uh, being able to do that. So once you do that, like mine, I have several vehicles and something a lot of people don't realize uh, is that you can control um, a vehicle in multiple apps. So uh, my wife has our Expedition and the truck and her app and so do I. So I can control it. And I also have our Fusion that my son drives in this app and he has it in his as well. So you can have it in both different vehicles uh, or you can have all, all your vehicles uh, in both of your apps. You can have a separate account for each of your uh, each of uh, each person that drives the vehicle. Um, so in there you can see once you get in there like mine you can see there is a remote start button in the middle. There's an unlock and lock button on both sides. So I do have the embedded modem. I do have the capabilities to remote start the vehicle and schedule remote scheduled times. If I click on my vehicle uh, then I can find it once uh, it does take some time takes a little time inside here to uh, load that because I'm in inside a metal building here uh, but it will load that up it's starting to load it now and once you do that you can scroll on down uh, to the, the you can see your tire pressure and there your fuel that you have in your vehicle uh, oil life uh, but then you do have a remote start section down there so go into schedule starts and like I have right now I have mine turned off I have some set up for the mornings during the winter time, once it gets uh, warmer, I, sh I can just shut those off and then I can turn them on when I'm ready to have them activated. And then I can add a new one. So if I want one for the summertime for maybe 15 minutes before I get off work to, to remote start the vehicle and I don't want to have to remember to do that, it'll do it for me and then even notify me and tell me that my vehicle uh, was remote started. So uh, you want to do that. Now, once you do that, you want to go in here uh, because from the factory, you're going to have it set for wintertime remote starts where it's going to turn the defrost on, turn your heated seats on, turn your heated steering wheel on if you have those features. Uh, whether you have the heated seats or the heated steering wheel, even if, if you don't have those features, it'll still allow you to remote start the vehicle turning the defrost on or your AC. Now let me show you how to set that. Whether you have the 4.2 inch single screen like I have on this one or you have the bigger 8 inch screen on your uh, Lariat F-150s or if you have the dual 4.2 inch screens where you have a, a couple of different ones, one on the left, one on the right, like in the edge and the escape, uh, you would still be able to control those the same way. And I'm going to show you what to be looking for here. 
I'm not going to show you on every different uh, screens possible. Even on the 21, they've moved a lot of settings into the center stack screen. So you want to go into settings over there and find them over there. But I can control those right here. So I'm going to move my cursor to the right. You're going to be looking for maybe advanced settings. So right here, uh, you know, I do have pre-collision assist. So and under settings in general, you're going to have like bliss if you have that and some of those features. But you're going to be looking for advanced settings. So I'm going to go right. And now I see vehicles. Vehicle is what you're going to be looking for because you want to change the vehicle settings. So you can click on vehicle and you can see I have lights, I have locks, I have oil life reset. There's my remote start. So I'm going to click. It is alphabetical, by the way. Uh, hit remote start. Uh, and then you're going to see I have, for my vehicle, I have heated seats but not heated steering wheel. So you see climate control seats. If you have a heated steering wheel, you'll see steering wheel there as well. So I'm going to go to climate control and I'm going to move over and you can see there I do have mine says auto. So what's auto mean? What's last setting mean? Auto means it's going to turn your defrost on. That's pretty much uh, that's what it's going to what's going to happen. It's going to warm the vehicle up uh, when it's on the auto setting. Last setting, what that's going to do, I'm going to move that and check that is that it's going to turn the vehicle on and put the climate where the last setting was when you got out of the vehicle last time. Uh, so in this case right now I have it on cool and I have it on three notches up here for the fan. Uh, so that's what it's going to turn on when I remote start the vehicle using the app. So if I go left, I go down the seats, go over. I don't want the seats on. Auto means it's going to turn the heated seats on. I want to turn that off during the summertime. So I'm going to click that to off. Uh, yours may say seats and steering wheel or it may have steering wheel separate. I can't remember on the settings, but I've done this with my Expedition as well. Uh, during the springtime, I made sure I changed those, but you want to make sure both of those are turned off. So that way the steering wheel and the heated seats don't turn on during the summertime. You want to make sure those are turned off. And then duration. You can go over here and it's 5, 10, 15 minutes duration. I have mine uh, set at 10 minutes uh, to turn on. Uh, I think that's, uh, that works for me. And then this bottom one is the system. If you, maybe you're getting in the vehicle and you're saying, mine doesn't work, I can't get it to work, it won't work at all, whatever it might be, check and make sure that that system is checkmarked. That box needs to have a check mark in it, so that way it can be activated and you can remote start mm -hmm. using either your remote if you have it on there, or the app. So you want to make sure that box is checked. If it's not checked, that's probably why it's not working for you. So you want to need to make sure you have that checked. So we have it checked. We have all those uh, settings changed. So I'm actually going to go over here and change this to the app. And I'm actually going to turn my climate control off. I turned it or turned it back on because I had it turned off for the video because it actually, there we go. Now you can hear that. So now we're going to go ahead and shut the vehicle off because I had it on to change the settings. Okay. Uh, I don't even need to lock or anything, um, but we're going to go ahead and remote start it using the app. So you'll see. So if I press and hold the button, once it starts to have that blue circle go around it, you can let go uh, and it will remote start. So I should hear the engine in a second kind of wind there and then it'll start, go ahead and start the vehicle here, up here. There we go. Just heard it click on the engine. Just remote started the vehicle and the climate control won't light up. So if you're looking for that and say, well, I don't see it lighting up, it won't light up, but you can feel it. It did turn it on. It turned it on to the cool and it turned it on uh, the fan speeds about where I had it so it is using that and the heated seats are not turned on uh, so it is working the way I want it to uh, so just just like we expected so you want to make sure you do that uh, I'm going to go and shut this off so you can hear me a little bit better it does take a little while to do the app and that's why some people would rather have the remote start on their uh, remote uh, because it is a little bit quicker uh, but does shut it off. So, uh, so there we go. So that's how you would want to make sure you do change that. So make sure in the summertime when it gets warm out, you will change those settings. Uh, if you want to be able to remote start your vehicle, cool the vehicle off during the summertime. And then of course, during the wintertime, make sure you're set up uh, for the, uh, those cold days to make sure your vehicle is set up to, you know, turn that defrost on, defrost in the windows, your mirrors, if you have it, as well as turn that heated seat and heated steering wheel on. So it's nice and toasty in the, in the winter time. So you want to make sure you change those settings twice a year. And that's what those uh, settings mean. I want to go over that with you. Uh, so hopefully it really got you some information there. 
So hopefully you learned something from this uh, video, especially you know when it comes to that those remark start settings, and you want to make sure you change those uh, for the summertime, and so you can go ahead and, and use the remote start even during the summertime on those really hot days out. Like we've had this last week, so what made me think about this video was uh, we had triple digit days last week, and getting in my car uh, in the evening and not having it remote start and cooling down, I uh, had to roll down those windows for a little while and get that some of the hot air out. Uh, and so I want to be able to uh, deliver this video to you so to let everybody else know more than likely you might check your vehicle might have the remote start settings so you can cool your vehicle off in the summertime as well. So uh, hopefully you learned something from this. Uh, if you have anything else that you may have questions about, drop them down in the comments. I love getting that feedback. I want to deliver these Tech Tuesday videos to you uh, to learn how to use your vehicle a little bit better. We know that when you take deliver your vehicles, it's hard as, as salespeople, uh, once you've done all the paperwork and you've already been at the dealership for a little while, uh, last thing you want to do is, is spend an hour in your vehicle learning about your vehicle. You want to just get out and enjoy it. Uh, we do re-deliveries here if you live locally where we can have you come back and go over some things after you've had your vehicle for a couple days or even a week uh, so that you can uh, we can go over a couple things for you uh, but there is a lot that involved in these screens there's a lot of things there that's why I have the videos the how-to videos on our YouTube channel as well as they're on, listed on our website too under the video tab if you go to new and go down the video then you're gonna find our, our library of videos there if you look at that informational uh, link that is our how-to video. So I leave, I put those on there so you always have access to those as customers to those. But you can also find them on our YouTube channel under the how-to videos as well. Uh, and then, of course, we do a separate playlist for these Tech Tuesdays, so you can check those out too. But drop those uh, suggestions down in the comments. Love getting those. and want to get those uh, from you so we can have more videos that help you learn how to use your vehicle and some things that you may not be aware of that's on your vehicle uh, in these videos. So hopefully you do enjoy them. For uh, videos that we've had go live recently, uh, last week we had all the Maverick videos go live on all the different three trims. I don't think anybody else out there on, the, on YouTube has a breakdown of what's included in each of the trims uh, based on the order guides that we have as dealers. Uh, also did drop a high boy video last week too. So if you're interested in the, uh, the new version for uh, 21, we did a video on that one last week. And this week, uh, yesterday, we had a video drop on the Edge Titanium for 21. Our complete guide walk around video on that, the standard equipment as well as optional equipment. That one dropped yesterday. Tomorrow, we're gonna have a Roush video, the Roush Super Duty build. So we go over not just what's built on the 14.9 package, but also what else you can add to the vehicle too. So the optional equipment as well as the different stripe packages that are available on the Roush Super Duty. So we'll be looking for that video tomorrow, as well as probably Thursday or Friday, we're gonna have our video on a custom build that we did for a customer on the High Boy package. He wanted something a little bit differently, so it's a good video uh, if you wanna watch that and see what that customer had put on his. Uh, and maybe even spark some ideas for you to, for future builds as well. So uh, those are some of the videos we have dropping this week. Uh, so hopefully you do enjoy some of those videos. So definitely make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Hit the notification bell. That way you get notified the next time another video uploads to your YouTube channel. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. I really appreciate it. Don't forget, I want your suggestions down in the comments. Put something down there for future Tech Tuesday videos. Uh, and you can also, don't forget, find us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. So until next week, We'll see you later.